Hi, my name is Francois Amar. Um, I'm happy to share a few poems with you for this uh, great event with the library. Um, this first poem is actually one that I wrote along with Kathleen Ellis for an event that was held at the library maybe four or five years ago, actually probably a bit more, uh, for a 350.org event. And since it's Earth Week, I thought I'd share this one with you. It's called When Everybody Knows. When everybody in the world knows the temperature is rising three degrees centigrade in this century, people will be amazed at the leaves unfolding and the early birds arriving out of season. When everybody knows the Florida real estate bubble is burst forever and the Maldives have succumbed to the new Atlantis, people will draw new maps and take up boating. When everybody knows the upward shifting in ranges of plants and animals and the rivers rising, people will remember how lean and hungry, how alive we once were. When everybody knows the polar bears no longer endanger them, people will find new entries in Borges Encyclopedia and laugh amazed. Thank you. This next poem uh, reflects what a lot of us are doing these days while we're home and that is to say baking. Uh, this poem is called Bread of Nations. One, the first miracle of the loaf is that we learned to make it at all, starting desperately with a handful of seeds crushed and softened in water to feed the toothless one for another season. No Neolithic purity law governed the invention of this gruel. What an unappetizing name, I blame Dickens. Perhaps you prefer atoll, kush, kanji, grits, polenta, porridge. Give me cream of wheat with maple syrup and a sprinkle of wheat germ. Two, waster, you spilled some, quick, scrape it from the rock by the fire. Oh, drip a little on the comal, spoon it, spread it, scrape it up. Tortilla, roti, lavash, wrap, roll, tear, fingers only. Matzah, the original hiking food, good for when you're on the run. Three, the second miracle, raising the bread. Ingera, pita, naan, saccharomyces cerevisiae, bubble on, friend, bubble on. Focaccia, falouche, fugas, filled and folded, the baker's snitch. Chala, ciabatta, crumpet, take to it, tea time. Sourdough, trained to resist, rhizopus and penicillium. Karen's whole wheat seed loaf, the antidote to wonder. What a marvel. Babka, bagel, baguette, beer bread. Oh, doubly blessed. Thank you. And here are two poems, again about food. These are about plums. Uh, first, the very famous poem by William Carlos Williams. This is just to say, I have eaten the plums that were in the icebox and which you were probably saving for breakfast. Forgive me, they were delicious, so sweet and so cold. And the second poem is The Word Plum by Helen Chasen. The word plum is delicious, pout and plush, luxury of self-love and savoring murmur, full in the mouth and falling like fruit, taut skin pierced, bitten, provoked into juice, and tart flesh, question and reply, lip and tongue of pleasure. Thank you. And this last poem is one of my stanzas from a collaborative poem with Kathleen Ellis and Cheryl Daigle. Uh, it's called Near Misses Two. The law of attraction leads to bound and unbound, binding and splitting, which section of the cone, which soundless fleeting cut will leave us most alone? You at one focus while I spiral in like space junk, trade an airless distance for 10,000 thousand collisions of the grazing heat of your gaze. Thank you and stay safe everyone. Looking forward to your poems.